Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Fantine here. Coming to another Smite God Guide. And, uh, first things first, I'm a Wilix. I mean, I'm the realist. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha there. But, um, I am, I got, like, half sponsored by, uh, XSplit. And they gave me a free version of, um, XSplit Broadcaster. So, uh, I'll make sure I leave a link in the description to their, uh, website to where, um, you can get your copy. Uh, I don't know what the price is for the full version. I can't. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it is a very, very good recording software. Um, I also tweak some settings with my mic. Tweak some settings with Smite. I'm just trying to get the best possible stuff out to you guys. So today in this um, first video. It is a um, Bacchuser Season 2 guide. Um, I did make one for Season 1. It's a little outdated. And my taste is kind of changed. So uh, we leveled everything up here. And we're going to go ahead and go through... Blah, 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 blah. We're going to go through the progression one by one. Actually, I forgot to add something. Heavy Hammer is supposed to be on here. Yes, so if I want to... Uh, this is only if I want to invade. We'll start with the invading build. If I want to invade... I will start Heavy Hammer every single time. There's no time I will not start Heavy Hammer. Today, I've been doing very good with my invades. So, once um, we're done with invading, I go Death's Toe. I go um, Ninja Tabby. Haste and Fatalis. And I go Itch of All if I'm going um, a physical god. If I'm not going a physical god, uh, I go, uh, where is it? Where is, it? is it even on here? I go Executioner. I, I put... Blah, blah, I didn't mean to put that on there. So, if you're facing some magical... But Jenner, I like to go Itch of All. Let's see. Anything else you could go here? Uh, there's nothing really else I would prefer to go. So, then you want to go do go with and the Titan's Bane. And then, you have an option. You have an option. Once you, you're going to your death toe, you're gonna get Aussie guaranteed. And uh, I don't really like going crit on Bakasur, by the way. That's the reason why there's no crit. You have an option. You can either keep your heavy hammer, make it a frostbound, which it's not a bad idea, but I mean, you don't have to. Or you can sell heavy hammer and get a magic blessing. Which, um, generally, actually, I'll keep the magic blessing. A lot of times I'll keep the, um, frostbound hammer. But, uh, just for this video's sake, I won't. Actives, you can get a uh, greater sprint. You can get weaken curse if, if you're forced to. Uh, hand of the gods. Verification beads. Uh, let's see, is there anything else you could go? Oh, I always go teleport no matter what, just because like I main solo. That's the only place I'm gonna use them. Oh dang, I, did I step off? Crap, I stepped off. I can't even sell them. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, consumables don't uh, matter. So, um, this is just kind of, I'm just kind of winging it right now. With, um, how I'm going to format these episodes. After this, after my next guy, I will be much more planned out. What I'll do, I'll just kind of go to every single jungle camp, kind of show you exactly what he can do. I'm not going to pick up any above. So I'll just show you kind of his basic attacks. You just rip through things. Like, you don't even have to activate anything. Going to speed, I'll show you what, how how you can use this too. You could eat the first minion, and then just attack from there. You can freaking do anything else you want. Or you can attack the other two minions, then eat the big minion. Alright, going into this, uh, I'll just show you what Birch... Blah, 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 his, I cannot talk today, I'm sorry guys. You can just uh, use your three to clear it. It's very quick. Saying all the stuff is at level twenty, so everything's gonna. I'm just going to that just for my passive. So everything's gonna be gonna. Be, be, okay, can I talk for once? Jeez. So everything is gonna be kind of quick, but you can kind of just generally see the idea. I mean, that's just insane. That's just insane. Now with this build, you literally have everything you want. You have attack speed, you have life steal for the boxing potential, you have Ichabol for the boxing potential, you have plenty of movement speed, you have, you can stick to your targets with haste and fatality, and you have Magic's Blessing to remove CC. So literally, you can't ask for nothing more. Now, boxes are generating the in lane. 
way you want to clear the wave, I'll go ahead and show you. This is at least how I clear the wave. There's several different ways. I'll just show you my main one because it's really the best type, at least in my opinion. Waiting. Just a waiting. Alright, so I'm going to get behind my minions. I'm going to run up to this first minion. I'm going to eat it, get behind my minions so they re-aggro, and I'm just going to... I'm going to just attack him. You don't actually have to activate Butcher Blades, but I'm just doing it just to clear it faster. Alright, let's see what is this, FG. Ooh, do we want to FG this episode? I have no idea. So, uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, movement speed buff just so we don't take forever. Now, the one thing that I wish this um, build had was some cooldown. Cooldown would be awesome, but I mean, it's not 100% needed. See, what can give you cooldown? That would actually be decent on him. Let me see. Uh, Shield of Regrowth technically could be good because it gives you movement speed. It kind of gives you a little bit of everything. Uh, Wing Blade's pretty good. Uh, Yolton's Wrath, maybe. Uh, really can't go bad with any option except Mail Renewal. We're, 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 we're not going to like that's in the game. Why? Because it's not in the game. But, uh, let's go ahead and eat some more minions so we can go, uh, screw the robot. After I get the Fire Giant bow. Yep, I'm going for it. Oh, well, who is screaming? Hold this. Hold on, let me try on my TV. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that wasn't in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and settle Gold Fury just because I can. Yep. You see? You, you, you see? You see? Look at that. I'm I'm at basically at full health, and you can do that as Bakasir. But let's see. Four. That's enough. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm you wanna aggro? What? Hello? What the? F um. Okay. You you see here? I don't know what the heck that was. Like I can't even use my. Oh look at that! Ooh, dancing with the fire giant. Dancing with the fire giant. Uh. Okay, it got me there. Ooh, get dodged. Ooh. Look at that. Oh yeah, throwing the fire giant. Ooh, you're blocked. And as you see, I just sold the fire giant. Bakasura. Now this build is very, very good for uh, taking out towers. I mean, you can go crusher, but I would sell it late game unless you just don't have enough penetration already. You can get crusher instead of like Ikaval. If, if you really want to, I mean, Ikaval does so good for boxing. But, let's just go ahead and, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I do. That's what I do. Let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, mm, mm, mm. And you kill him just as quick with your actual regular basic attacks. Like, I'll show you again. Just, like, look at this. It's like, less than five seconds. Shred people. Baka Surge basically just shred. Look at that, uh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pentakill time. Oh, I don't have no minions to fight with me. As you see, guys. Baka Sir is very good. Now, his only fault, um, downfall is he's uh, very, very squishy. That's the one thing you do need to keep in mind. Uh, counters. He honestly, he's not countered by a whole lot. I mean, he can be soft countered by like healers and people who have silences or just basically things that can interrupt his Bircher Blades or like I said, healers. Those are the only really people that at least soft counter Bakasura. He counters like basically everybody basically because of true damage, his sustain, his AoE cripple, which prevents leak. Dashes and all that stuff, and in a team fight, he just gobbles up everything. So, um, yeah, guys, that'll be the end of the video. Make sure you guys uh, like, frame, subscribe. I will not be putting an intro in here because I don't have to. And I'll see you guys later, you little sexy little beefs. Oh, hold up, let me give you guys a little bonus. Let me give you guys a little bonus. Works. I'll give you guys a little bonus. Just because I love y'all. Why am I talking like that? Uh, let's see. Why well, I have 20 goodwill? Wow, that's fake. Uh, let's see, match history. As you see,
this is in this is in a uh, Joust League Joust one v one game. I might start putting it on my channel, but this needs to got wrecked. The only two kills I got were Phoenix dives, so she technically really didn't earn that. She definitely didn't even touch me on one. He just gave it to her because she was in range. But you guys can kind of see lately what I've been doing. Uh, you said you see I'm improving. This game, oh my god, I don't even want to talk about this. Here, let me tell you about this game. Let me tell you about this game. Me, Phantos, we level one. We, I got a double kill on Bastet Aphrodite. We took the jungle buffs. I was, sh I shut down Aphrodite. She could do nothing. Bastet could do nothing. They were level twelve at the twenty minute mark. Just horrendous. But. Every time I told my team, oh, they're here, they would not even pay attention. They're at Fire Giant. They would just go defend Mel Lane. And it felt like I was by myself most of the time. Now, Thantos did good. And they all, they all blamed Thantos for a loss. I mean, yeah, he got 15 deaths. But, I mean, late game, since he didn't really go for a, um... Well, he did kind of go for a basic attack build, but not, like, the good type. They all blamed him for feeding, which, I mean, he... I really can't call it feeding because he he got seven he got the most kills in the game, and he got a decent offices and he just kind of controlled the other game along with me. But man, it just I don't know how we lost. Like I just don't know. Like after they just wouldn't die at the end. Like Aphrodite was just killing everybody to full. You know, had brawlers. We didn't have one weakening curse or a divine rune besides. Oh, we did have a divine rune, but he actually ended up getting it late game. Not too late. Like nothing was good, guys. I just after I got like salivation, like that is just disgusting. But yeah, guys. So um, make sure you guys like, favorite, subscribe, share. You know everything. You know you gotta do. I will see you guys next time.